welcome viewers and welcome Mr. Barry Peatling to the Barry Peatling Sports Show. And welcome to everybody around the world and in the state. It's, uh, I'm not a very well man today. I had a very shocking night last night. Mm. He hasn't been feeling himself today. He hasn't been feeling. Someone else has been feeling himself. No, but, I, but I'll uh, soldier on because I've got a big story to do about Murray Lewis and that's why I'm doing it. Yeah, so we just seen the picture. Um, that has just popped up on your screens, old Murray Lawson now. Not Murray, Murray. Murray, Murray Lawson. Yeah. Um, and uh, that's the script, that's the, um, the picture you just seen. That's the topic today. The topic of today, and that's yeah. just, that probably worrying about, worried, uh, wondered about the picture that you've just seen, and that's him. That's him, yeah. Now, who is Murray Lawson? Murray Lawson was the chief sports writer for the Women Mail Times and Horsham. He was there all together 50 years, but he's, he, he had about uh, 20 years of sports and he took over the editing, editing, editing and uh, his son took over from him. Dean Lawson took over from Murray. So he was a, a well-known, very respected journalist, I I do think. He, he knew what he was talking about, knew, knew what he was talking We'll show some of the mm. stories he was cutting in a minute. But, uh, mm -hmm. So was he in the top five sports reporters up in, the, uh, up, uh, up well, in that area? Who knows? Number one. Number one, yeah. So I mean, there was sports papers. There was other papers up there. But I think there's one up in. Is there one in Denville? There's one in Stool. That was mm. very ordinary. Stool. Three lines over there. Two or three lines of football. And Matawa. The Matawa that stands, I think, that, that was there for a while. But now the Horse and Mail Times was. Everyone. Any, anyone involved in football, Colin, Wimber League football, tuned in to. Up last Monday afternoon on Monday afternoon, reading what Murray Lewis had to say about the football. Yeah, yeah. And he actually, uh, we're going to show some of these cases. It'll bring back, it'll bring back some memory for you, Murray. Yep. So we'll look at a few of these cuttings here, and uh, this one here. This is the um, by Murray Lawson, that old rap magic. Yeah. So he was a bit of a linguistic. Oh, he had all these little lines, little one-liners. So that we've seen that one before. Yeah, now, that's Mr. Peckling here, of course. Sir. There you are. There, you did, did a story on you. Repugnant colossal win way to first grand final. Spot on, yeah. Murray, Murray Lawson. Lawson. There he is again. And here's a big one. I was telling Murray today. Geelong wants Morgan. Yeah, that was a very big headline. Come on, everyone thought he was going to go to Geelong. He broke the news of that. Did it happen? No. no. But he would have dug way at the same time down in Geelong. Oh, here's, a, here's the original of the, that newspaper that we saw before. Which one? This one. Oh, yeah. that's, that's, that's the actual original paper. That's worth a lot of money. Though, yeah, it? it could be worth a lot of money. Now, yeah, um... one of these stories you made about... You've a few stories about Barry Peatling. Okay. You, you remember you, that one, Murray? Is that, that... Did you... That looks like you've stuck that on yourself there. Mr. What's Barry Peatling, champion footballer. Yeah, it was a champion. But... That's one of the early days there. That Murray was 1960. That was... Murray Lawson. That one you wrote, Murray... That was the first year of Rapanya when I was only just turned 19 and I missed the last, missed the final, I missed the last five minutes of the Dim Villa game and on the, on the Friday before the game, that was the headline, I mean it's 19 young, 90 year old young man, what a headline. Pretty good. And, and that's how much Murray, and that, uh, that was up there about six years ago. So this is not a Murray Lawson No, Murray Lawson, he, he done the arrangement to get Paul Caracher and... Uh, oh, so he organised that one, yeah, that, yeah, that yeah, major Caracher. headline of you doing that rundown of the all the players. Now, uh, we've got here another one. Murray Lawson. Murray Lawson, Peatley Morgan star hit in the rough wind. He was a Peatley Morgan fan too, Murray Lawson. He knew the, he knew the good footballers. He knew really the good good. footballers. Now, another one here, Underdog Rapunia by... That's when he give, that's when he give me the sportsman of the week over there. Oh, OK. There's only two players in the women's league competition when I was up there. One of them. One was me, and the other was Andy Morgan. Right. So... That's well, a pretty good one. Now that's not his. That's not well, I told him today that's Michael Jones. Mm. It was Murray Lawson's cadet. Oh, okay. So he it's cadet. He, he wrote that story there. So we've got it. That's a few of them, isn't it? And, and these ones here, did Murray Lawson have Yeah, any, they're all Murray Lawson. All Murray Lawson. He was, the, well, I suppose, being the star reporter up. He was. In, um, Everyone tuned in every Monday afternoon about half past twelve. Tune who got the best players for their own club, Jim Bill and Stool and Arrow and he was the man, mate. He was the main man. And he knew what good football was all about too. That's why he said something about picking a few times, right? And Neil Morgan. So 
He was up there for a few years, I imagine. Um, how long? Fifty years, Colony was up there, and uh, of course I said before, Dan Lawson, who is taking his number one editor, editor for the, the other Lawson paper up there in Lawson. The other hand, I remember. Who's Dean Lawson? It's his son. Right. Dean Lawson, yeah. So he took over. He took over the opposition because Murray was saying today mm. that the Women Mail Times are not going too fast. I mean, mm. they sell thousands of copies every week back in the days, the 60s. So if you have shares in the Women Mail Times... Oh, I'd say get rid of them. Sell, sell, sell. Well, that's a bit sad. Or maybe buy if you want to keep them still going. So there's a bit of a, a, a Lawson legacy of, of football yeah. writers. Well, 50 years and Dean was there for about 35 years, isn't it? Mm. But it was, uh, I've been in at Women Mail Times off a lot of times when I was up for opinion. Yep. We went there with Kevin Norfolk one day and... It was in '65. Yeah. And Maurice said, "Come over and bring the Lord, bring the Lord over, because he was supposed to be going to take them apart again, but it, it was a bit of a dumb dumb that year." Yeah. Right. So we went over together. and Maurice done a bit of an interview, interview with us, and uh, mm-hmm. you probably remember that Maurice it was Kevin Northcote. He was a bad two-stone overweight back in the day. Was he? But he wasn't much good at. Kevin Northcote. Well, he was good yeah. early in his career, but he, when he came back in '65, he, he blew out. Because Murray said, oh, look out, they've got the Peking and Northcote combination back mm. again. That's where he wrote in the headlines. Right, fair enough. So do you remember that, Murray? So there we go, there was a tribute to Mar- Murray Lawson, star reporter. Star re- football, sports. Sports, sports reporter, sports covered sports. all sports. Now, talking about all sports, let's talk about cricket stars tomorrow, Barry. Yeah, I see that Mr Shane Watson is putting himself out there to play in a test because they pick him and they've they got to be have something wrong with him. Mm. He, he just can't play. No. Five years ago, though, he can't play. Can't play anymore. But he's, uh, and I think, are they going to get that, uh, that fast, what was his name? West, West uh, what's his name? Uh, Josh? Hazel. Hey, is he going to play? I hope he's playing. I don't know, I'm not sure. He's the best player. He's probably in the squad, but... Um, he's in the squad. They're thinking about putting P- Peter Siddle back in business. Yeah, he's no. Got to be no, Peter Siddle's on the test team. No, so that Siddle or Josh Hazel? Hazel. No, he's in. He's ensconced. He took all those wickets for um, uh, that that day they had for. Yeah, but he's not so very consistent. The last four. No, he'll be in there, guaranteed. Well, I heard on the radio today. Guaranteed. Well, listen, I'll just say what they said in the radio today. But either but Siddle or West or uh, Hazelwood. Hazelwood. And I reckon Hazelwood. I said a few weeks ago, he he is going to be the best. He'll be a two hundred wicket man. Maybe. He will. He's got, he's got a fair bit of money here. Evan Johnson now will terrorise his Indians. Yeah. If he's playing. Well, we'll have to see. That's the game tomorrow. We'll have the full report on that next week uh, of how the first test and all the emotions and all the whatnot. Well, they've got to get over it. Michael Clark, champion football, champion cricket, and champion sportsman. Look, get over it. That's history. It was, that means when did he die three weeks ago? Yeah, not still got, They're going to call... Uh, 13th, man. 63 seconds for uh, something 63. I mean, it, get a life Australian cricket, boy. I mean, mm, I mean it's only, Well, yeah, 400, mate. Everyone's going to wear 400, mate. Uh, you know, Barry's mate. angry with the death of Philip Hughes. I mean, we've given it, look, every day the last three weeks has been something about Michael Clark. Oh, okay. I mm. mean, he's not God. No, no. Get a life. Right. Move right. on. There's, his, there's Barry's message. Because Ryan Can't Harris... Ro- there we go. Coming, Ryan Harris at training yesterday the off the ground. Couldn't handle it. Roy Harris, you're a big boy. Grow up. Mm. He, he said Ben Michael Clark on his own. There we go, there's Barry's message to the Australian cricket team. Look, he was a champion fellow, champion cricket, Michael Clark, but let him rest. Michael Clark's not dead yet. Oh, no, he's not dead. He's Philip, Hughes. Play, yeah. Philip Hughes, I think it was. Oh, I beg your pardon, yeah, Philip Hughes, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that, Michael Clark. Yeah. Rumours of his death are greatly exaggerated. So we look forward to that. Those are Barry's views, of course, not mine. Um, oh, but I'm straight up in this business, I don't like about it. But um, anyway, um, Cheerios, Barry. Give us the Cheerios. Cheerios, well, it's always Cheerios. And I'm going to give a special Cheerio to Maury Lawson's little darling little granddaughter. And she sent me a thing. She wanted to be, wanted to be friends or going to be uh, those little boxes on the computer. What's she something? liked you. Something like that. Yeah. I, I don't know how to. Re- want to friend you? I don't know what, how I responded. You Nobody know? knows. She wants to be. Friends with me or something, right? Mm-hmm. So I'll get you to fix it up. Right. And, uh, yeah. So we can be friends. Stephanie, she's the one I got her, right. his, her grandfather's favourite on the on an email. Sounds like a plan. And she's a very attractive young woman, I think. Right. Yeah, and of course we've got PH, Shandy, and Carlos, and Jerry. 
Jerry went away for two weeks. Yeah. Went to Sydney, back to Sydney. He wow. Went back in town. Pacemaker. You have a good time in Sydney, Jerry? Yeah. Oh, you did, yes. Look after PH where. Mm. Yeah, of course, Annie, Annie, Annie and Carla. Yeah. You got the. They got the cyclone over there. Right? Yeah, I know. It's so scary, they're, isn't they're, it? they're a fair way away from yeah, there. Okay. They're up the big hill. Right. When you're in a hill, you can't get so far. Oh, Longer Poo Poo, yeah. Longer Poo, yeah. yeah. But there are three died so far. Yeah, wow. Well. Sort of and of course, I just mentioned about uh, Laurie Wilson's granddaughter, Stephanie. Yeah, she's a sweet little girl, I tell you. So that's nearly a. Oh, I've got a new, a new viewer from One, overseas. Yeah. CG! Wow. CG! Yeah, F-I-J-I. CG! Yeah. You've been there? I've been there. It's boring. Yeah. Hate it. Yeah. They got... What they get drunk on? They, they Carver. Carver. You ever, you ever tried it? No. Oh, you're a Kiwi. You know all that, don't you? I like to soapy water. Yeah. I went to this party one night when I was on a cruise over there back yeah. in the 70s. Yeah. They say, we're drinking this, bro. I said, what is it? God, you drink it. That's our, that's our super upper. Yeah. Well, they threw it through up. Yeah. That's what they get high on. Yep. Yeah. Soapy yeah. water. A little bit like Advil. Yeah, that mm. Advil. Don't ever use Advil. I'll tell you, it really upset my stomach. Mm. Last, last, uh, had, I vomited six, seven times last night, and that was, I won't tell you what the rest mm. of the body was, but I'm well, recovering now. But anyway, that's about all we got for today, Colin, and all my overseas and interstate viewers. So that's goodbye from me. Bye for now. See you next week. <laughs>